Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we got Best Bids first released. This is the Mouse version 2 in 172nd scale. Very much an iconic sort of what if uh, tank. Gets a lot of mileage, but obviously because of the size of it, in 72nd scale, probably be about right. Anyway, as you can see, nice little bit of box art on the kits we can see round on here. Okay, two versions available. So you've actually got one from June 1944 uh, or early 1945 from the test center. Uh, kit number for this one, it's their first release. It's VS720001, okay? And you can see some of the highlights of this particular one. So we've actually got uh, the replacement tracks tested on the version of, uh, two uh, of the mouse tank. We've obviously got upgraded armor and all the grills and photo etch positions going down in here. We do get metal barrels and various parts in here and photo etch. So again, very, very nice indeed. So in the box, it actually is quite heavy, we can see. Quite a large body for the actual tank itself, okay, and a huge turret, okay. The tracks, which are massive, again, bearing in mind, don't forget, this is 70 second scale, so you've got lots of parts down in here. We've got our barrel, and I think that's the gun or a smaller gun cannon onto this one as well, so huge. Okay, we've got some decals for the markings, and we've got the photo wedge on the back as well. And then last but no means least, we've actually got the instructions. So as always, we'll start on the instructions. Uh, as you can see, obviously calling out all the parts we got down in here, everything's used, so you don't have to worry about that at all. So straight into it, obviously this thing is huge. I needed a lot to hold it up, as in wheels. So we've got loads of road wheels, drive cogs, uh, idlers, return wheels, all the rest of it down in here, as you might imagine, on this one so it's going to be putting all this together on the actual uh, lower hull and then the gear are the actual track so it's link and length and then some parts for the curved parts and it looks like you're only going to be needing three or four for the curves on this one because of the huge uh, radiuses involved with this particular one so we're doing all of those then it's actually adding the side skirts onto this one so a lot of this detail as you see you're going to see with the tops of the tracks you're not going to see anyway as those go in loads of grills and that's the nice thing with this kit so we have got photo etch grills for all of these underneath uh, putting those ones in then we've got some more of the plating various parts going on in here and then we've got covers and things like that on the top a part of the hull working our way around we've got those huge you imagine fuel tanks or barrels on the back as well we've got some photo etch strapping as well very nice touch for those to go in then we've got a sort of coaxial gun and the main gun as well being fitted onto the mantle okay and then obviously we've got the top part with a, a reinforced area as well down in here for the gun and turrets things like that in here as you imagine going through with the bottom half and the top and the mouse going on there color call outs gray Oh, no, there is some options. I was going to be uh, sarcastic and I take it all back. Okay, we've got sort of the wiggly pattern all the way over, as I call it, or we've got the more desert colour in the sort of dark yellow, as you can see down on here. Interesting subject. It is one of those things. I love the sort of what ifs and stuff that didn't quite make it into production like this type of thing. And you often wonder what would have happened if it had have done. I feel not a lot. I think it would have just been literally a paperweight and everything would have shot at it. Uh, but there we go, it would have been interesting. So, down in here, we've got the top part of it. And again, it gives you a sense of, of the scale on this one of how big it actually is. As you can see, it's not small. Again, if, if you haven't seen the review already, we've already done the best bid one of the Comet tank. I mean, it was beautiful. I was really blown away by the detail. And again, exactly the same in here. So on the front, we've actually got the uh, the, the uh, mechanism and the hinge and everything beautifully molded into the surface texture. We've got the grill work and obviously you're gonna have the photo etch underneath this as well to really give it some sort of sense of scale. And even on this massive behemoth of a lump, it's gonna be beautifully, beautifully done. So very nice, good, clean, sharp molding as we saw last time really nice on that one we've got the bottom so down in here as you said that's your normal width of a tank and then add all the parts again you're not going to see much of this because clearly it's going to be covered in all the mechanics and the side skirts and everything else but that's that down there as well so that looks very very nice indeed we've got the turret in here so again you can see nice texture the molding down in here sort of the cut marks and again it's got a little bit of texture to it and things like that very 
very nicely done. Catch it in the light, you can see it there. Actually, it's good, good detail on this one. Again, fantastic detail for the scale, 70 second scale, blown away. Very, very nice indeed. Whilst we're there looking at these small parts, let's have a quick look in the barrel. So as you can see, a beautiful turned aluminium barrel. Very, very nice indeed. Good, good sharp detail. And then I take it, it will be, a, I don't know if it's a, a coaxial gun or another small type of cannon on there, but a uh, small one in the zip bag there as well, keeping that all safe. Okay, we'll just pop these back before we lose them. Okay, see what I mean? Catch. And in the back, please. Okay, we've got that one there. We've also got the photo etch, which you can see just down in there. And um, we've got the strap there for the rear. So that's all the grill work. And we've got the markings, which let's face it, are going to be standard type markings. Very, very nicely done as well. So back to it. We've also got just down in here. So here we are on D. We've got those side plates. And then obviously we've got this drum system for the back. We've got these ones on the front here. I love the way that this is sort of, you know, done in the angles and all the rest of it as if it's to deflect water or something. I assume it's shells and that coming up, but yeah. Hatches, all the various parts, all the small things. Again, great thing about it, the gates are very, very small, the injection gates and things like that. So it's minimum tidy up on that. Really nice. And on the blind side, you can see all the ejector pins are just recessed. Just tucked out of the way, very nice, but nothing that you're gonna get uh, any problems with. Over on this one, we've got the gun mantle, as you can see with that coaxial gun. Again, it looks like it's cast iron, and it is. So that's really nice as well. We've got that post as well, which would be for the back of the breech system and the other parts on the underside down in there. And then again, you've got both guns. So obviously we're gonna be going the metal route, but if you wanted to go down the plastic route, you've got the option to do those as well. Uh, in here we've got the wheels, of which there's going to be lots and lots and lots. Okay, so match pair on sprue A. And again, you can see really good sharp details on all of these. Very, very nicely done. So we've got all of this workings for the mechanics. And then obviously we've got all the road wheels and we've got the drive sprockets and the idlers down in there. As you can see, good level of detail on those. And then last up, the huge tracks. So we've actually got these huge tracks. Again, match pair uh, on sprue B. And you can see the size of these tracks is a monster tracks. Look at that. Again, nice thing about it is, is that they're Lincoln length and they're obviously just making up these on the sides for obviously going up uh, on the curb. There's not much to them. And clean up should be quite straightforward because they're done on the end, which is gonna be okay as well. There you have it. I have to say, I'm now blown away. That's the second kit I reviewed from Vespid. We did that one and we've actually done their comment as well recently. And uh, both kits are absolutely beautiful. Really, really things. Nice with that sort of what if with the mouse uh, because obviously it is that thing. Would have been fantastic to see it in action or probably not if you're on the returning end of it. But again, it's just one of those ones. It's a big imposing piece of armor. And when you put it with the other one, you can see the real size of it as well. But the Comet as well, that was a beautiful little tank. But most of all, I have to say 70 second scale, Again, the detail is good as you're going to find on anything from 135th scale as well. And again, lovely bits of uh, turn metal for the bar barrels, things like that. You've got a little bit of photo etch in there just to add those little bits of detail. Absolutely fantastic. So there we go. That's the best bit. 72nd Mouse 2.